بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم all glory all praise and all thanks belong to Allah only I am continuing with the series of my talk on this platform of Al Islah The talk is on motivation in parental care that is I intend to prompt the parents to undertake parental care so properly so as to ensure that the children are growing up under a, a proper and appropriate care the talk is in reference to my book child psychology in which i advise the parents to apply the child psychology and the foresight in bringing up children the disturbing and damaging feature in the ill handling of parental care can result in the children becoming victimized by mental health disorders and i can think of three such disorders one is inferiority complex the other is child trauma and the third is adolescent depression that is teenage depression human beings have self pride self prestige and self importance and rightly so because they are the creatures of Allah rabbul izati jalla jalalahu rabbi but this has positive aspect and negative aspect the positive aspect is what is my izzat in the sight of Allah because Allah is the one wa huwa yu'izzu may yasha bima yasha kayfa yasha but the negative aspect is the person is anxious about how his prestige is looked upon by the society and the society is all that matters to him it is the negative aspect of this which gives rise to the sense of inferiority among people the more sensitive are the, the children i intend in this talk to discuss the, the inferiority complex as a whole in my book which is of 30 chapters the only chapter that is the longest and has three parts is the one which discusses inferiority complex and the title is spare the child from inferiority complex this inferiority complex is common among human beings it varies from person to person in degrees in reasons and in duration from time to time but when it is excessive and longer in duration then it becomes haunting and even disturbs one's personality a person suffering from inferiority complex has the feeling that he is inferior to others in various aspects of life but what is even worse he has the belief that even others see him so as inferior which is not true the inferiority complex is mostly related to or in in respect of worldly matters like education monetary status marital status employment status societal status and uh, other things which are purely worldly but then this status a phase in life the person who is suffering from inferiority complex 
by nature now. He creates a nature of being introvert instead of extrovert. Introvert means he is comfortable to be in a group of people who he is familiar with. In the case of extrovert is the person who would readily mix with other groups even where the faces are new. The people who suffer from inferiority complex have a certain instinctive reaction to it by trying to assert superiority as if to give a message that he is no longer inferior. For example, he would express bravado, able to do things which may not be even necessary, just to give a message that he can do things which others cannot do. It is a bravado, knowing that anyway he is not going to be tested for it. Another is he will be bossing over people under him unduly when it's not even necessary to do that. But because he suffers from inferiority complex, he wants to assert that he is superior to others and would like to be bossy and that can include even his wife. Now having given some few indications of the behavior of somebody who is suffering from inferiority complex, let me now show how parents through their thoughtlessness can lay the first layer in the mind's child to bear or to suffer the complex of inferiority. Let us take an example of a child. What is a child's world? The child's world is the home in which he lives and the parents that he lives with. He knows no other world. That is all his world. And then he loves them like they love him and he trusts their love. And therefore, that being the only world that he knows and the only people that he so, is so intimately close, he tends to imitate them in order to get some compliments from them. And the one he intimates more is the father because he sees even the mother is also obeying the father. So what he is, the child is doing is hero worshipping the father. And for that purpose, he wants to imitate the father. You will find it's not unusual that a child would put, would try to use the slipper, the oversized slipper of his father and go about uncomfortably losing balance, falling, standing up again and continuing to use the father's oversized slipper. Finding he is so much in love with the slippers, so much attached to the slipper, the parents buy him his size of slipper, a new one, and he puts it on. It's quite comfortable. And now he can make use of it comfortably, but only after a day or two, the novelty wears off and he abandons it and goes again for the father's oversized slipper. It gives us a message. He wants to imitate. He wants to be like the person whom he hero worship. Even in the matter of coughing, if the father keeps on coughing, he imitates and the parents get worried, believing that he is sick. But no, it is imitation. Now, when a child is so close to his parents, more to his father, and when the child is hero worshipping him, then imagine how much the child gets hurt if the same father, instead of complimenting him for whatever he's trying to do to imitate him, scolds him. It's just natural that a child, being a boy, and I must say that when I say a child, a boy, I mean also a girl. It is usual that a child brings a school report which may not be satisfactory. 
to the parents. He may come back from school with the uniform or shirts no longer neat, soiled. He may come back from school with things that he, were, he was given are lost. He may come back from school having injured himself because he was careless. Now normal, a thoughtless parents, thoughtless father would immediately show his displeasure and anger. And that is the worst thing to do because a boy would always be a boy. What should be done in such circumstances? The boy, the child knows that he has on him certain blame for which he expects the father to be angry. But when he finds the father is not angry, is not even aware of it, then he becomes extra loving and affectionate. So, on that occasion, right away, don't scold him. Right away, do not hurt him. Never compare him in matters of behavior with other boys that he, he knows them. That is the worst thing to do, to bruise his pride. However, later on, when there is an opportune moment, he can be explained how to be a good boy by not repeating what he had done. And if the parents suspect that the child has a peer pressure, there are boys or maybe girls much elder pressing him to do things which he doesn't want to do, but there is a peer pressure. Or if, he, if the father suspects that the child has been hurt or the father suspects that his pride has been injured, then the best thing would be for the father to get his friends invited home and the child should be let to play host and act like a boss in the house to the children to build up his self-pride. Wassalamu ala manitaba al-huda.